My name is Ariel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another adventure. Not the adventure we had planned for this week, but we just had to get creative. So if you've been following my vlogs for the rest of the summer, my husband and I had the goal of hiking all of the Elk Mountain 14ers. And we've definitely made some good headway, but the last couple of weeks, we haven't gotten so lucky with the weather. Last week, we ended up getting what we thought was gonna be rained out and it ended up snowing like three to four inches on the mountains that we were gonna hike. So it was good that we didn't end up going out. We made the right call. And then this week, we were trying to go for a rebate on that same adventure. And again, just calling for all day rain, thunderstorms, and like, like literally starting in the morning. So there wasn't gonna be a weather window to summit. So we just sat down and thought about what we could do to still utilize our time and decided that even though it's maybe not like a safe or wise option to do our the last couple of our local 14ers that we wanted to do because they do require a little bit more technical skill and for us like an overnight mission but we could travel somewhere else in Colorado and find another 14er that we could do in one day while there's still good weather so we hopped on the 14ers.com app did some research for 14ers around the Telluride area. We love the San Juans. We think they're so beautiful. And we came across Wetterhorn, which looked fun to us. So we hopped in the car or in the van, literally at, I don't know, uh, like 8.30, 7, 7.30, 8.30 p.m. Drove as far as we could, slept on the side of the road and drove the last couple hours this morning. And now, we're hiking. For us, this hike starts with a little bit of like a off-roady road hike. We did get the van further than I would have thought. <laughs> it, the bottom of the road where like you're turning off of the main dirt road said that like four-wheel drive recommended. And the van is definitely not four-wheel drive, but it is front-wheel drive and it has decent clearance. So we made it up to the next junction and decided to park the van there. And I'm glad we did the van definitely could not have made it up this but I think we're almost to the top of the road walk and then we should jump onto the main trail It was 34 degrees when we started this morning when we like packed up the van and started hiking. So I actually started today's hike in pants, which I almost never do. I honestly don't really like hiking in pants. And I find that even if it's pretty cold, that if my feet and like my upper body is warm, then like I don't really feel my legs getting that cold. But I don't know, I was starting to feel like maybe it was pants season because of how cold it was when we started. And it is not. So glad I threw shorts in my bag. What about you? Are you a pants hiker or a shorts hiker? I feel like there's so many people who, who pass me when we're out doing hikes like this and comment on the fact that I'm wearing shorts. So maybe I'm the weird one. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. <laughs>
you can see them on the GoPro, but there's like a whole bunch of sheep up there. I'm sure they just look like little rocks to you, but so cool. It's a giant herd. We'll see if the trail gets a little closer to them, but pretty neat. There they go. And there's a black sheep. Just one. How ironic is that? We just stopped for a quick break. We're only, we have like maybe 1,500 more feet of climbing, so we're getting pretty close, which is cool. And I am loving the hike so far because it's not a bunch of scree. This is, it's really cool. It's like, like rocky and hilly. It almost looks like, I don't even know how to explain it. Lord like, of the Rings. Like very Lord of the Ringsy. But like, it's just such a relief for my knees to not have to do a bunch of scree. I'm sure there will be a little bit, but this is like by far the least amount of scree I've ever had to do for any of the mountains we've climbed so far. So stoked on that. It all started with a feeling. It all started with a feeling.
We made it to the top. There was a couple groups right behind us. So even though we're up here solo at the moment, I feel like that will be short lived, but it's such a beautiful day. It's like 1130. We didn't really get an early start today, but we knew the weather was looking good. And <laughs> I don't know, we've had such pleasant summit experiences recently. <laughs> like I feel like all my ones before this summer, you'd be like freezing and getting wind blasted. And I feel like all the ones this summer have just been like so nice and so wonderful. So now we're gonna eat a little snack and then we'll head back down. My favorite part of the climb was for sure the last like 100, 200 feet. I wish there was like a thousand feet of that type of scrambling because it was so much fun. So for those of you wondering what I brought to eat today, it is not the tuna sweet potato mash, but Thank instead, <laughs> Sam hates it. He's not, he's not a fan. Who wants but tuna at the top of a mountain? I feel like tuna is so good at the top of a mountain. I mean, it's like actually lunchtime right now, so it's appropriate. But today I brought lasagna. When we were at home, I made this like gluten-free, um, actually dairy-free too, lasagna with like mashed sweet potatoes and like beef and it's so delicious. So lugged up the Tupperware and I'm so excited. This is definitely one of my favorite perks about day hikes is that uh, I can bring real food. <laughs> mm, so good. at this but for me the scariest part about going down was not down climbing all of the like steep rock gully stuff this this like steep loose gravel terrified of it. it makes me so nervous and we forgot our poles so I'm just gonna go super slow but Sam was not feeling the lasagna up there. So basically I just carried this brick for training weight I know up and down. I know feels with my camera. Fair. Probably comparable weight, honestly, that's pretty dense. That's like a lens. <laughs> that was so fun. I feel like it's really, it was an interesting one because like the hike out there, basically all the way up until you're like kind of up on the ridge is just a trail. It's very chill. And well, maybe chill is not the right word, but you know what I mean? It's like not technical in any form or way, any form or fashion, but then it gets like kind of spicy. I mean, I think it's really fun. Like that's the kind of stuff that I enjoy most. And that's like what makes the climb for me. But it is really interesting that it goes from like a cruisy trail to like, you know, actually having to scramble up. I mean, Sam, I, I don't know how well you can tell on the camera, but Sam actually had to help a woman um, come down uh, that section because she was very scared. So <laughs> it's the real deal. Uh, the plan for now is just to chill for a little bit. We want to drive over towards uh, maybe a little closer to Telluride. And we're thinking about doing the Via Ferrata tomorrow morning. I have to do a little work this afternoon, but we're really just going with the flow. So for now, we just cool down, snack up, rehydrate, and then on to the next.
Okay, how cool was that lightning shot? Sam just took that on his iPhone in like slow-mo mode through the like window of the van one of the nights. So we did end up going to Telluride. We weren't able to do the Via Ferrata because we woke up to rain, which turned into like cloudy, sleety lightning. And then there was a moment where it hailed. And then for like a brief hour in the afternoon, it was like beautiful, beautiful, like hot summer day. And then just like crazy, crazy rainstorm, lightning, thunder, everything rolled back in. And actually, to be honest, it was kind of nice to just chill and relax. Like I'm always on the go between school and work. And then when I'm not doing school or work, trying to like make the most of my free time and get out on adventures, I feel like my pace of life is kind of like 100 miles per hour. And it's always something that I remember on the road that there's this piece of me that needs to slow down, that it's so nourishing to take the time to just recover and rest and chill. So we hung out in Telluride. We hung out um, with a couple of friends, had some lunch, but mostly we just like sat up at our campsite and had this amazing view of the mountain ranges in the area and read a book, <laughs> did a little journaling and just, you know, took an opportunity to really fill myself back up. So it was a much needed moment of rest and honestly, such a fun, unexpected adventure. I feel like sometimes it's easy to get caught up with frustration or be upset about plans not going to, things not going to plan. But if you're able to be on your toes, like this adventure was so fun. And I'd have to say like Wetterhorn, the top of that was probably one of my favorite peaks that I've climbed. I do still wish that that summit section was like three times as long because that scramble was awesome. But still, just such a fun experience that I wouldn't have done otherwise. So super grateful that we got to get out there. And yeah, that's all I have for you for this week. We have some adventures planned for this week, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what ends up happening. I know we'll make the best of it, whatever ends up coming our way. So with that, thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you can stay along for all of the future adventures. I'll see you next week.